Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning in for another um, exciting video today. So today we are going to learn about a crucial tool called Liftover. So if you've ever worked with genomic coordinates, you know how challenging it can be to convert these coordinates between different genome assemblies. So in this video, we'll start by um, exploring Liftover and we will learn um, three ways that we can convert genomic coordinates across assemblies. Liftover is a tool developed by UCSC and is available as one of the several tools on the UCSC genome browser. Um, so Liftover is a powerful bioinformatics tool designed to convert genomic coordinates between different genome assemblies. Um, genome assemblies are updated periodically to incorporate new and improved new data with improved accuracy. So these updates can change the reference coordinates for gene variants and um, other genomic features creating challenges for researchers who need to compare this data across different assemblies. This is where Liftover comes in. So Liftover uses alignment data between different genome assemblies to map coordinates from one assembly to another. Um, so let's say you want to map coordinates and convert coordinates from HG19 or GRCH37 to GRCH38 or HG38. Uh, these are the different genome, human genome builds. If you're not aware about uh, these builds or you don't know what uh, these builds are and what is the difference between them, I've previously created a video explaining that. So I will be adding the link to that video in the description section below. Liftover is especially useful for tasks like when working with data derived from different versions of the human uh, genome or different species genome. Uh, also comparing current data with older data set that use previous genome assemblies. So by providing accurate and efficient coordinate conversions, Liftover ensures that genomic data remains consistent and comparable across different assemblies, facilitating um, newer findings and uh, discoveries. So specifically talking about UCSC's Liftover, it is advisable to use this tool when you have genomic coordinates from an older assembly and map them to a newer assembly, which we spoke about in the previous slide. Also, when comparing genomics features between species, Liftover can be used to map coordinates from one species genome assembly to another. Also, when integrating data from different sources that use different genome assemblies, using Liftover ensures that all the data points uh, are in the same coordinate system. Uh, it can be helpful to use when transferring annotations such as genes, regulatory elements or genomic features from one assembly to another and also for historic uh, data reanalysis uh, to reanalyze older data set that were mapped using previous versions of the genome liftover can help bring these data set to the current assembly versions for compatibility with recent tools and resources. Liftover is not recommended to use where high precision is required. So uh, for applications that require high precision as some coordinates may not map accurately or perfectly, which can lead to inaccuracies. Also for regions uh, with high genomic variability, such as structural variants, segmental duplications, or regions with many small insertions or deletions, li Liftover might not accurately map these regions. Um, they also uh, recommend to not use it to deal with uh, mapping the uh, SNPs or single nucleotide polymorphisms where even minor inaccuracies and in mapping can have significant effects. Instead, um, they have listed down um, a set of steps that need to be uh, that need to be performed on an approach that needs to be taken in order to map the RS IDs or the SNP IDs um, from one assembly to another. And I will be adding the link to that from their official documentation in the description section below. Liftover can fail for regions that have undergone extensive changes between assemblies leading to incomplete um, coverage. If significant portion of your regions of interest cannot be mapped, then Liftover may not be suitable. When the coordinate system or reference genome used in your analysis um, differs significantly from the standard assemblies supported by Liftover, that can result in poor mapping accuracy. There are plethora of tools that are available, um, which some are UCSC Liftover based, some are just the wrapper scripts and some employ different solutions to convert coordinates across assemblies. Um, so there are a couple of options. There are definitely more options here, but here I'm just going to demonstrate the three options. So there is UCSC Genome Browser, which is the most easiest and the quickest solution, which provides the browser support. And in a short while, I will be demonstrating how we can utilize the um, ut uh, this tool on their uh, website and how we can convert the coordinates between uh, assemblies. Um, Galaxy also provides a liftover uh, tool uh, and it supports the BET file, GFF and GTF um, input files. 
um there are also r packages available one of the r package that we are going to use and i'm going to demonstrate today to convert the coordinates is r track layer which is a bioconductor package that implements lift over and has the same functionalities as lift over the command line version of the lift over is also available and in addition to that there are also command line tools and wrappers which are not lift over based but have provide different solutions are based on different solutions but ultimately provide the ability to convert the coordinates across assemblies or across species uh, among which cross map is an, uh, is one example which i will be demonstrating today it's a great tool because it provides support to a wide range of um, ngs file formats like including sam files bam files big big files bed files gtf gff vs vcf files um it's it's python based and it's arguably very fast than any other option available um dealing with the uh, big bed or the bam files um lastly i also want to mention about something called as a chain file so chain file you will be noticing that we will be using chain files um to convert uh, for for some of the methods we'll be using chain file to convert the coordinates from one file to the other a chain file is nothing but it's a pairwise alignment between two reference assemblies um and these uh, ucse and ensemble chain files are available on the web to be downloaded and to be used with your um, whichever lift over method that you choose to um, use so the first method that we will be looking at is using the lift over tool on the ucsc um, genome browser page so this is the ucsc genome browser and under the tools there are a lot of tools available and we'll be using the lift over today so this is pretty straightforward um so here we choose the original genome um the genome in which we have our coordinates in so you can choose amongst uh, which of the uh, genome build that you have your coordinates in you can also choose the genome um, that you're working with so right now i would quickly want to show you the data that i have so this are the these are the test coordinates that i want to lift over so these are in ag19 uh, and i want to convert it to ag38 so this is a previous version of the human genome build and i want to um, uh convert or uh, map these coordinates to the latest assembly or a newer assembly rather so i'm going to be using these coordinates so here i'm working with the human genome so i selected human and um this is the build uh these my coordinates are in ag19 and i want to convert it into human and ag38 there are newer builds available as well but i want to convert it to the ag38 the rest of the parameters i'm not going to change um, you can hover over each of these small eyes to get more information and you can change them according to your requirement so here you can either paste your um, coordinates uh, but i'm going to just upload my file here by choosing uh, by clicking on the choose file and i'm going to select my file and then i'm going to click on submit file so it's pretty simple uh, i get my results um, at the bottom and it says that it has successfully converted four records and i can now um, view my conversions so when i click on this it opens a dialog box and allows me to save my converted coordinates on my system let us go to the file that we just saved and here um, these are essentially the first three uh, columns are the columns from the assembly that you map to that is the newer assembly in our case so these are the edgy 38 coordinates and the fourth column here are your original coordinates so basically this in your older assembly maps to this region in your new assembly um similarly goes for all the following rows so these are our original coordinates which are mapping to edgy 19 coordinates which are mapping to these coordinates to these regions in our edgy 38 assembly so this is one way of converting your uh, and mapping your coordinates from one assembly to the other this is perhaps the most straightforward way uh, to map your um, coordinates across assemblies so another method of uh, mapping your genomic coordinates across different assemblies is by using a tool uh, like crossmap crossmap is a great tool because it supports a lot of uh, commonly used uh, ngs file formats uh, and these are the file formats that it support this is the official user document which gives you information on how how crossmap works um, how one can install it and various commands that you can run with uh, different kinds of uh, files that you have in order to map your um, coordinates 
So I have already installed a uh, cross map using pip install. Um, you can also install it from the GitHub. And what I've done is I've installed this in a Conda environment uh, and I can quickly show you that. So I can activate my Conda environment first. So Conda environments are great in terms of uh, preventing package conflicts. Uh, so whenever I'm installing new tools, I usually try and make separate environments so as to avoid package conflicts and dependency conflicts with the packages and tools that are already installed on my system. Um, if you haven't heard about Conda or if you want to learn more about it, I have previously created a video. Um, so I will be linking that video in the description section below. So let us use cross map now to convert or map our coordinates from edgy 19 to edgy 38. So in order to do that with cross map, uh, one of the things that we'll be requiring is a chain file. And I have previously mentioned that a chain file is a pairwise alignment between two reference assemblies. And these are available uh, to be downloaded for free. So let us go back to the documentation. And here they have provided the links to the chain files and uh, uh, also the ensemble chain file, both the UCSE and ensemble chain files. And since I know that the coordinates that I'm trying to uh, map to are um, the AG19, my, origin my coordinates originally are from AG19 and I'm trying to map it to AG38 or other assemblies. So I'm going to click on this link. So here we get the AG19 to different um, mappings to different um, assemblies. And what I'm looking for is AG19 to AG38 because I'm trying to get my coordinates mapped to AG38. So I'm just going to click on copy link address and download this. I've already downloaded this file, so I'm not going to download it again. Uh, but this is how you can get your chain file. So now let us go back to the documentation and take a look at the command that we need to run. So in order to map our coordinates, um, we can run the following command. So there are various, you can refer to the help documentation in order to use additional parameters. I'm just going to run the most basic command. And my coordinates are present in the data folder and now let's run this so here we have the mappings between both the assemblies so the first three columns are our original uh, coordinates that are ag19 coordinates and the rest three um, columns are our ag38 based coordinates we can also redirect this output to a file and save the output to another bed file and the last method um, to convert the coordinates is by using an R package. And the R package that we are going to use today is the R track layer. So I'm going to read um, the library first. And now let's read in our coordinates. So this is where our data is in the data folder. Here are the coordinates that we want to convert uh, into AG38. So I'm just going to run this. So here are the coordinates that we want to convert and I'm just going to um, assign the column names. So this is the chromosome start and end. And in the next step, we convert these coordinates into a G ranges object. So this is a simple data frame right now. We want to convert this into a G ranges object and we do this using the G ranges function. So here is our G ranges object with the column, the sequence name and the ranges that is a chromosome and the ranges that we want to convert. And finally, uh, we read in the chain file. So we have already downloaded the chain file. So the chain file right now is in a .gzip format. It's uh, a com in a compressed format. So we just want to um, decompress this file before we provide it to the program. So now that we have decompressed it, we can use this uh, file and it's present in the chain file um, directory. And now let's run this. So here is our chain object. 
and the next aspect is to run liftover we can there is a, a wrapper function called liftover that runs the liftover um, on the object on the ranges that you have provided on your coordinates using the chain object so we basically provide our g ranges object and our chain object to the liftover um, function and the output of that would be saved as a data frame in the results um, uh, object so let us run this and finally taking a look at the result here we have our uh, converted um, edgy 38 coordinates for um, these coordinates so basically these coordinates the result would not show the original um, edgy 19 coordinates rather these are the mapped edgy 38 coordinates so that was all I had for this video. I hope it was helpful to learn uh, the different ways uh, you can convert the genomic coordinates across assemblies. Uh, I will be uploading uh, my small R script where I use the R track layer to convert the coordinates onto my GitHub repository and I will be linking that in the description section below. So if you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more bioinformatics related content. If you have a question or a suggestion or a comment, please uh, make sure you leave it in the comment section below. Uh, share this video with your friends and co-workers if you found it helpful. Uh, please stay tuned for uh, more bioinformatics related content. I really appreciate your support and I'll see you in the next video.